channel or welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing a video that is actually kind of a yearly thing on my channel it started with my freshman experience at Towson University and then I did my sophomore and now I am done my junior year of college so this is going to be my junior year experience at Towson University so before I get into this video don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the fam right and don't forget to turn on the bell so to know whenever I upload so let's just get right on into this video if you're wondering what my outfit of the day is my lashes are a glamnetic I'm not wearing any face makeup I'm just wearing eye makeup today and then this head band is from Amazon. It is a Gucci dupe. It will be linked down below. And then this is a romper from Toby. So that is my outfit. Okay, now let's get into my junior experience. Okay, so first of all, my junior year is over and I am now a senior. Wow, that's crazy <laughs> in itself. I'm still trying to process the fact that I'm literally going into my final year of college. I think that's kind of crazy. I also think it's kind of crazy how literally from the fall semester, we went from being on campus to in the spring semester being quarantined and going to completely online remote classes and work and everyone's lives just completely changed. <laughs> so that definitely makes for a little different of a college experience. I'm going to do what I do every year and I'm going to first talk about grades. So in the fall semester of my junior year, I got straight A's and then in the spring semester, I got two A's and I pass failed two of my classes and I got passes in both. That is my grades for junior year. So I guess technically straight A's. <laughs> so that is the grades I'm maintaining, which is good. Something new and fun in junior year was that registering for classes didn't absolutely suck. So Oh, that was really exciting. People always said that it got better. I just didn't believe them because freshman and sophomore year registering for classes is horrible. But junior year, I got all the classes that I wanted to and it wasn't this crazy stressful process where it was just, I picked my classes. Some might have been waitlisted or filled up, but for the most part, I wasn't like, all of my classes are gone. So that was good. That was a nice benefit of junior year is having more credits so that you can register for classes earlier, which means you have more likelihood of getting the classes that you want with the professors that you want. So I actually was able to get in in the spring semester with a professor that I really love. She was my corporate comm professor and I had actually emailed her because I was on her wait list and I was trying to get into her class. And then they opened up the two spots but they didn't pull from the wait list for some reason, which I think was dumb. But she emailed me and was like, hey, grab that last spot. So I was able to get into that class that I really wanted to. So definitely reach out, especially if you have a relationship because I had a class with her in the past. If you know a teacher and you really want to take them, make sure you email him or her because you never know if you could get into a class that you didn't think you were going to be able to get into. And I'm really glad because she came in so handy like with all of the corona stuff that happened and going online classes. The quizzes she made were so easy. Like kind of had pictures of her dog in it. So she's an amazing professor and I'm so glad that I was able to email her and like hop in and snag that last spot in her class. So let's look at my Towson Student Center. Okay, so the classes that I'm taking next semester for my first semester of senior year will be family resources, photojournalism, mass media graphics, strategic PR campaigns, and theater for social change. So I have two more cores I need to get, which I'm going to be taking and knocking those out this fall semester of 2020. But after that, I am completely done with my cores, which is crazy. I have one more EMF class that I have to take an upper level elective and then I'm done with my minor which is super exciting which I will be taking in my spring semester of my senior year and then there's just one elective I have to take for my mass comm that I'm also going to be taking my spring of my senior year. I've already completed all of the upper level electives that I need to graduate so that's awesome that I already completed that. Look at this! Oh my gosh! Look at those A's! Oh! <laughs> So I literally have taken 106 credits and I need 14! That is including my fall classes, so I only need 14 in the spring to graduate. But that's crazy seeing that number. Wow. Because you have to have 120 credits to graduate, so that's crazy. I'm literally talking about graduation now because I'm going into my senior year. That's wild. My GPA is 3.779 for my major. 
Something that kind of shaped my junior year for the most part because considering the only part of junior year that I spent on campus was the fall. I spent over 11 days in the hospital in the fall. I was hospitalized numerous times. I had my gallbladder removed. I spent some time in the hospital for mental health reasons. There was over 11 days of hospitalizations in the fall semester and I still managed to get straight A's so that is something that I'm very very proud of and I worked so hard to achieve and to be able to do that. So that is something that was a really big deal for me. Something that was different for me junior year is I felt like I didn't care as much. And I don't mean this in a bad way. I mean this in kind of a good way. I'm always, I've always kind of been a very much a perfectionist and I always hold myself to very high standards and that's good. It's good to have goals. It's good to hold yourself to like high standards until it gets to an unhealthy point. And mine was very at an unhealthy point and I wasn't being so particular about my planner and everything that I typically am. So like I said, I'm not sure if it was just depression and I was just like not caring about things as much or I I don't know, but it was kind of nice to just be able to chill. I said I am on medication now from that hospitalization. That's when I started my meds. So it was kind of nice not doing the most like I always do. <laughs> oh, so a tip that I learned from junior year is tiny scanner for doctor's notes is great because like I said I spent over 11 days in the hospital I needed a lot of doctor's notes to send out to my professors so tiny scanner is a great app that you can like literally take a picture of it and it'll scan it and it'll be a document on your phone it's super handy super great if you need to send doctor's note to your professors so I guess I'll talk about the spring a little bit I mean having to go from in-person randomly to online classes in literally like two days that transition happened very fast I personally, I didn't mind online classes. It kind of felt like the same thing. It kind of just felt like school without the lecture, unless I actually had like a Zoom lecture, which I only had a Zoom lecture for one and a half classes. The other professor didn't start doing the Zoom video chats until like later on in the semester just to prepare for the final, but there was only one professor in the spring that actually met via Zoom at a scheduled time. So it was kind of just like, I was just doing the work for my classes without actually going to class if that makes sense so that's kind of what fall classes were like for me honestly I'm a very independent student I get my work done and I get it done early or on time and honestly I got a lot of work done in advance and early on with online classes because I don't like having stuff to do and having stuff holding over my head so I would just get a lot of my work done in advance and I actually think it, I like I kind of thrived on online classes not gonna lie but online classes are very boring and they get lonely I'm trying to think of what else to talk about it's kind Kind of getting hard to talk about new things because I've kind of covered so many different things in all the previous videos so now it's kind of to the point where I'm just like I'm almost done I'm finishing up I'm still doing summer orientation right now I feel like I learned a lot about me and myself throughout my junior year like I said my junior year is the year that I got put on medications for mental health so that was like a really big deal for me and honestly it's helped me a lot like a lot a lot <laughs> and it's kind of crazy how much it has helped me obviously I'm still struggling and if you've seen I'm still having seizures and I'm still having issues that I have to address and I'm still do having doctor's appointments I had one yesterday online and I have one on June 8th so that's kind of a big deal with a Hopkins doctor that will hopefully have some answers but my health was honestly my biggest struggle probably of my junior year and because that was so bad it was contributing to really bad mental health as a result of that so it was just a ripple effect and I was just in such a bad place in the fall and I'm so thankful that I was able to get out of that and come out on the other end of that it's just crazy to think about how much has changed since then and how much different of a place I'm in and I don't know it's just crazy <laughs> Like I said already, I pass failed two of my classes from the spring because if you don't know, TU gave us the option to pass fail all classes, which meant if you got a C or higher in the class then you passed it and it doesn't hurt your GPA. So I pass failed two of my classes, my feature writing class and my women's studies class. And then I got an A in my EMF class, the media producer and in my corporate comm class. So that's what I got this semester. I don't really know what else to say. I, like I said, I got straight A's in the fall but I did pass fail geography. Yeah, I can't believe I'm almost done. 
at Towson. It's kind of crazy. I feel like just yesterday I started and I was a freshman moving into Pretty Man when there was no air conditioning and now I'm literally going into my last year at Towson. I um, went to campus and I filmed the 73 questions before a Towson University student. So check that out if you haven't seen that already because I answer uh, so many Towson related questions in that video. I think it might be super helpful if you are interested in Towson University. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was shorter than my other ones, but like I said, I'm kind of getting to a point where I just don't want to be too repetitive with these videos. I kind of just want to talk about my experience from that year. And yeah, that's kind of all that was happening junior year. The craziest thing was the pandemic and having to go from class being on campus in the fall to being online in the spring. That was definitely the biggest thing that happened. But other than that, I mean, I'm still getting good grades and I'm about to graduate. So that's really all that's happening. All right, everyone, well, that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below any video requests and don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the family. I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.